the six scriptures, you know, they, in their opening creed, when they read it out, they have this uh, opening, they say, Ekomkar, there is one God. Satnam, his name is true. Kartapur, he is the God, the creator. Nirpo, he has no fear. Nirvair, he has no enemy. Akal Murat, he is an eternal God. Ajuni Zayapam, he has no beginning of birth. A Guru Prasad is only by the grace of God. Well, I was uh, born in a middle class family in Punjab. Around the age of seven, my family moved to the UK. So many of my relatives, they live abroad, they live in Europe, they live in, uh, you know, UK. I've always known about the Punjabi Sikhs. I remember there was a large temple just north of my house when I was growing up. There's a large population of Sikhs in my hometown in Canada. The UK has one of the largest populations of Sikhs outside of India. Sikhism pretty well has everything. It was a reformist religion to start with. It was reforming beliefs in the area between uh, Islam and, and Hinduism, believing in one God, high level of morality, hard work, living in the now, not in the virtual world. This is the foundation of Sikhism. Sikhs are, are very, um, very zealous, but they're also very open, very loving, very friendly. Sikhs are all in or all out, zero one, there's no gray area. There's a saying among our people, either you can, you can give your life for a cause or you can take a life for a cause. So they can be extreme in both ways. And I really believe that if one who has genuinely turned his heart and come to know Jesus Christ, he can be powerfully, powerfully used. There are 42.5% of Punjab population are Jarsik. And uh, hardly, hardly there are few thousands who have accepted Christ. And there are so many people who are still unreached. More than anything else, my heart is broken. Because they don't realize they are worthy of the gospel. So they've denied the gospel. They don't open their heart. And then they don't believe the truth. God loves them. Oh Lord. What do we do for them? How do we get their heart? I'm so pained, Lord. You have a will for them, and you want them to turn back to you. Why did I become a Christian? It started when I actually had a failed, a failed relationship. She was a Christian and I was a Sikh, um, but that barrier was between us. It left me trying to understand why in this world, even though I'm a good person, et cetera, et cetera, and Sikhs you know, value that, the morality, why this wall? I started to read all of the different religious books, including the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, that's the Hindu ones, right, Baha'i, and at the end of the day, I was really left with Christianity. I started seeking the real meaning of my life. I started seeking the real purpose of my life. I was getting everything I was good at my studies, but then I started thinking in my life that I need something more. When I accepted Christ 10 years ago, and there was, I was the very first convert in my block, in that whole area, I was the very first guy who accepted Christ. And today we have a very vibrant church. We have Sunday school every week. We share the gospel, worship God, and teach the Bible. There is truth found in different religions, but that truth is only a part of that truth. Absolute truth is found in Christ. So if you could actually identify and look for the truth that is found in the different religions, use that as a bridge. Use that as a bridge. Find an identification there with that and then lead them to the absolute truth. They get up in the morning, they bathe regularly, they'll pray for hours. We're not going to be able to compete with those things. And uh, we don't need to because we have something else. But then we've really got to live that out and show it. Be part of everything that they do. Um, their family, their food. 
they saw that I was willing to live the way they live and that was important to them too. Be part of the good things in their culture. Come in, take the risk because they're friendly people and they, they love to actually integrate and talk and whatever. So who will go to them? And I think the responsibility lies upon the shoulders of us Div uh, devotees of Jesus Christ, the, the followers of Jesus Christ, it's our responsibility to talk to them. I would definitely invite people to take that, that plunge. Uh, and don't worry, the Sikh people uh, you know, are not that scary. <laughs> they, in fact, uh, will be some of the best friends you could ever have. Uh, this is a plea, this is a cry, and this is something God really desires because He don't want anybody to perish and he I I really I believe that that with all my heart that God doesn't want Punjabi people to perish without knowing the saving knowledge of Lord Jesus Christ.